a diabolical movement on YouTube, cloaked in a veil of Christianity, falsely so-called, consisting of individuals that are carrying out a very sinister agenda to target the genuine anointing of the Holy Spirit. Their goal is to sabotage God-ordained ministries, blemish reputations of God's anointed, and chase God's people away from such ministries. A mighty wind ministry and my pastor Elizabeth Elijah have become the main target of these sinister individuals. At this time they are propagating the lie that the spirit in a mighty wind is not only Jezebel but the great whore of Babylon, the scarlet woman who rides the beast in the book of Revelation chapter 17. They are pushing and manipulating people to believe and propagate their same lies without even studying to show themselves approved, without even studying what this ministry presents. In this diabolical manner, they are deceiving people into blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, knowing that this is a sin that cannot be forgiven. This is how they recruit many for Satan. The truths that we are about to present in this video are simple truths, yet at the same time tough spiritual meat that sadly most will probably choke on. Okay, here's where the it enemies gets, of the uh, mighty wind have taken a small fraction of what this ministry presents mm -hmm. and completely twisted and misrepresented it to deceive and recruit as many as possible against the mighty wind. Here we go. They are targeting the Holy Spirit who has used this ministry for 24 years of which 17 years online to reach souls for Yahushua, Jesus and as of now in 25 different languages. In this video we are going to prove that it is impossible for the spirit in this ministry to be Jezebel or Mystery Babylon, even though the enemies try to use the fact that we believe the Holy Spirit to be feminine as an excuse to propagate that lie. Yes, we do believe the Holy Spirit is feminine. Okay. Not only is it clearly explained why in the formal video that I uploaded, but in this video, we will explain this to you again. All right, there you go. That's still some dude called, who runs a YouTube channel called Yaz Servant 777 I typically don't make videos against, uh, you know, accusing or attacking any other YouTube uh, users. Um, I'm just using this video here to prove my point. There are a lot of Looney Tunes on uh on YouTube, that is a fact. There are YouTube churches. There are people who actually uh, you know, self-ordain themselves to be pastors, run churches on YouTube. They 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 think they're teachers when they're really not. God never even called them to be teachers. Some of them think they're pastors, and then they're not even saved. Uh, this gentleman here, I'm I'm not one to uh, judge salvation, but from what I've I've been noticing on his page. Uh, it's questionable. For one, um, the Holy Spirit is not a female. The Bible does not prove, uh, cannot, you cannot prove that by scripture at all. I don't care what verse you might want to twist, turn to your liking. The Bible does not refer to the Holy Spirit as a female spirit. Okay, or as a feminine spirit. In fact, we refer to God as Him. In scripture, He is referred to as Him. Male. Okay? Uh, I would only assume, uh, I'm not sure, but that this gentleman here must not believe in the Trinity because if he believed in the Trinity, he would know that the God is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And if we refer to God as He, then that would mean that both, that all three, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, are not feminine. Okay? Uh, now, this isn't an attack of all the ladies out there. Please don't get offended, but that is just how it is. All right? So, uh, for him to believe such a thing is indeed heresy. Uh, he has a big thing where he has to call Jesus, uh, Yahamashua, whatever it is. Um, first of all, <clears throat> there's no proof of that. I don't know where they get that stuff from. Um, these are some of the guys that try to, to, to who are just pretty much, I would label them as Judaizers. The Hebrew name for Jesus is uh, Yeshua, and the Greek name is indeed Jesus. Uh, I mean, the Latin name, I'm sorry, is Jesus. Greek is uh, Yelesus or something like that. I, I can't um, get the spelling for you right now, but 
Either way, uh, it's not Yahashua or whatever, however you want to pronounce it. Um, it is just in Hebrew again, Yeshua, and in Latin it is indeed Jesus. Um, so they're fixated on this type of stuff. His pastor is some female lady who calls herself a pastor again on YouTube. A lot of loonies on, on YouTube, man. Everyone thinks they're teachers. Um, I, there are very few people I will even listen to on YouTube. Uh, usually when I do, they're already renowned pastors that are recognized that just happen to be, um, you know, that people are uploading their teaching videos or preaching videos on YouTube, and that's why I'll listen to them. But as far as independent YouTube users, very few that I would even listen to or even condone or promote. Um, those that I do are usually a handful. And, um, you know, for example, Proclaim His Word. He's pretty solid. He's a friend of mine. Um, I know he's not loony, <laughs> okay, because we, we speak frequently on the phone, and he's always on our, on our block ro talk radio program as well. So, you know, he's one of the few that I would actually uh, promote out there. There's some guys, there's also uh, some other, a couple more that I just uh, can't come to mind right now. Uh, Neft Neftali, uh, um, he's pretty good. I haven't seen anything bogus with him. Um, <clears throat> so, and there's, there's a couple of others. But for the most part, I would not pay any attention to any of these loonies on YouTube. YouTube is uh, a great asset to the church for ministry, uh, for getting the gospel out there. But at the same time, the devil uses YouTube as well. Okay, and the devil will use people and masquerade as an angel of light, as a preacher teacher, and indeed contaminate the body of Christ. And that is prevalent on YouTube, okay, so for you folks who uh, don't want to go to church or, you know, refuse to to fellowship with a, a small body of believers, even in your own homes, and think that YouTube isn't, is your church, and that watching these videos is, is enough, you're wrong, get up off your chair, go have some fellowship, I'm not saying you have to go to some big mega church, or you have to stop paying tithes to all these used buildings, I'm saying, you know, go seek some, some, some like-minded believers, some, some Bible-believing believers and, and a fellowship with them. Even if it's just one or two of you in the house, have a Bible study, whatever. Get off YouTube, okay? YouTube is not a church. Uh, stop watching these people. I notice people who watch these 30 or 40 uh, different teachers are always confused. They can never get there, and they're very easily swayed and very easily deceived because they're listening to everyone on YouTube as if because you're on YouTube, it means that you have... That you have been called of God to teach. No, every any any loony, any 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 nut job can make a video on YouTube, and and they're out there like crazy, by the thousands. Okay, so please, people, uh, this is just one of them. Uh, you you got to be careful out there, folks. Really, just pray and uh, pray to the Holy Spirit to speak through his, uh, through His Word, through God's Word, and uh, and read the Word for yourself, man. Stop, stop. Listening to all these uh, crazy people on YouTube is just not worth it. This is the type of crap, the type of garbage uh, um, you hear on YouTube. The Holy Spirit is, is, is feminine. I mean, it, it's ridiculous that Jesus is no longer than it is, is not good enough. But let me tell you something. I, I've seen people, I've seen demons being cast out in the name of Jesus. So if it's not, if it's if that's not His name. I wonder why the demons react the way they do when they hear his name. So, you know, no one's saying that calling Jesus Yeshua or saying Jesus is wrong either way. I'm saying when you start uh, making demands and making it law that uh, and start saying things like Jesus is not his real name, that it's Yahushua or whatever it is, um, and that that's the way you should call him, and then, you know... You have all these other... You have Judaizers now who are telling you that you need to keep all the laws... Um, all the ceremonial laws that they were never done away with, that they apply also for the Gentiles. I think all these Judaizers, very dangerous. Okay, people, just just stop going to YouTube to to, to and, and seeking out these 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 crazy people out there who who call themselves teachers and preachers and pastors when they're not. Anyone can say that they're ordained, and you know what? I can get ordained within five minutes if I wanted to. I could just go to a website and they do it for free. And I'm an ordained minister, and I could be marrying people out there. I could, you know, even open up my own church with no training whatsoever. Not that I'm saying that because you go to a seminary or cemetery, it makes you any of a better Christian. But, you know, 
it's that easy to be ordained people. Just because people call themselves pastors or preachers or teachers doesn't mean that they are. Take me for example. I have a few videos out there. Okay, it doesn't mean that I'm a pastor. It doesn't mean that you have to take my every word that I say uh, literally either. Go and search out the scriptures. Make sure that what I'm saying aligns with scripture. Okay? But it's unhealthy to go and, 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 and listen to like 30 or 50 youth people on YouTube and then... And then you're wondering why you're confused and why you're in false doctrine. Stick to the Word of God. The Word of God, the Holy Spirit will not steer you wrong. Okay? God bless.